Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine the terms of a sequence using the TA-89 graphing calculator. We're asked to list the first eight terms of the sequence given by A sub n and B sub n. We'll do this using the sequence command, which is found in the math list menu. So we'll begin by pressing second five for the math menu, and then number three for list. And notice how the first option is sequence. So we press one or enter, I'm gonna press one. And now we enter the formula. Notice a sub n is equal to n squared minus n. So we need to enter n squared minus n. It really doesn't matter which variable we use, but we'll go ahead and use n. Notice there's an n above the six. So we press alpha six for the n, raise the power of two, minus n, which is again alpha six, comma, the variable of the formula, which is n, so alpha six again, comma, because we're looking for the first eight terms of the sequence, n will go from one to eight, so we enter one, comma, eight, close parenthesis, and enter. And now we have the first eight terms of the sequence given by a sub n. Notice how there's an arrow on the right, which means the terms continue to the right. So let's press the up arrow, the first eight terms are 0, 2, 6, 12, 20, 30, and now we press the right arrow, and the terms continue, 40 and 56. And just to show we don't have to use the variable n, if I go back down to the previous entry, then I'm gonna press the left arrow, and then right arrow over to the n, clear out the formula, comma, n, and re-enter it using the variable x. Notice that variables x, y, z, and t are much easier to enter because they have special buttons. So if we entered x raised to the power of two minus x comma x, and we still have comma one comma eight, close parenthesis, mm -hmm. notice how we get the same sequence. Let's go back down and now let's find the first eight terms of b sub n. So let's go ahead and clear this. So now I'll press second and five for math, number three for list, and number one for sequence. And now we'll enter the formula, which is n factorial divided by n. Let's go ahead and use n again, just for review. So alpha six brings up the n. The factorial is located under the math probability menu. So we'll press second, five for math. Probability is seven, so we'll press seven and notice how the factorial is the first option, so we press one. So there is the n factorial, and now divided by n, which is, again, alpha six, comma, the variable n, which is alpha six, comma, again, we want the first eight terms, so n will go from one to eight, so we enter one, comma, eight, close parenthesis, and enter. And now we have the first eight terms of b sub n. Terms are one, one, 2, 6, 24, 120, 720, and 5,040. I hope you found this helpful.